Another muscle that's highly involved in lumbar pathology and a, a great driver for compensatory problems and vertebral rotations as well as disc problems, spondylolisthesis, is the psoas muscle. The psoas muscle is the basic hip flexor. It begins down here in the femur and it comes up and it attaches to the body, the transverse process, and the discs of many of these vertebrae. So you can see a tight psoas could actually cause that vertebrae to rotate to the right. So a wonderful release technique for the psoas is to place the patient's body in an area of stress. And then you can do an active release technique to this psoas by having the person gently lift their leg and dropping it back down, maintaining the pressure, gently lift the leg, dropping it back down, maintaining the pressure, again, Maintaining the pressure, drop down and off the table again. And another technique similar to this is basically where you just go into the psoas, you hold it until you feel it release, and then you come up in a variety of positions. Another technique that's effective for the psoas muscle involves the patient laying on their right side. So they're on their right side. If they have spondylolisthesis, if they have a rigid back and I don't want to engage extension, I can block it right here with my hip and I can have a psoas positioned in this way. In this way we can do a variety of things. We can do a contract relax where you pull your leg forwards, pull your knee forwards, good, and relax. And I'm able to stretch it more. You can do a series of that. You can also do a series of, again, the soft tissue release techniques while you're actively engaging that psoas muscle itself. So the secret to success for most manual therapy techniques for the vertebrae, for the discs, involves hands-on placement, not just modalities, not just exercises. Those will not help the patient return to pain-free function.